Acme's key locking studs provide both security and repairability in applications where vibration may cause a traditional double-ended stud to come loose. They're superior for use in soft materials like aluminum or magnesium when extra strength, extended thread life, as well as vibration resistance are required. Their solid one-piece design provides high pull-out and torque-out capabilities. To install a key locking stud, you'll need a properly sized drill, countersink, thread tap, and installation tool. Refer to the chart found on Acme's website to select the correct size tools for your stud. Drill the hole with a standard drill. Countersink with a standard 82 degree to 100 degree countersink. Tap the new threads with a standard tap. The chart from Acme's catalog or website will tell you how deep they'll need to be. Screw in the stud end until it is 10 to 30 thousandths below the surface. Keys locate the proper depth. Place the installation tool so that its slots fit over the stud's keys. Finger tighten. Raise the tool until the keys are no longer in the slots, and then rotate the tool one quarter turn so the tool's base is positioned to drive the keys down. Drive the keys down with several hammer taps. A properly installed key locking stud looks like this.